Welcome back to another Podcaster Studio tutorial. Today I'm demonstrating FeedBurner and the limits that you can run into when using FeedBurner to create your feed. If you have a feed that is too big, FeedBurner will stop working and therefore stop updating your feed. So in terms of a podcast, if you're in iTunes, your feed won't update anymore because your feed has become too large for FeedBurner. So FeedBurner, once it gets to 512 kilobytes, stops updating until you get the size of your feed down to underneath 512 kilobytes. So how do you check this? Well, first of all, you need to find your original feed. So not your FeedBurner feed, not the one that you would see by going to your feed details created by FeedBurner, but the feed that you gave to FeedBurner. So in the case of people using WordPress to create their feeds like I do, if you just go to your category feed, which here is podcast, the podcaster studio, which we're on here already, and then I can just enter feed here after the uh, URL, hit return, and this will pull up my actual feed. So here you can see everything that's in the feed. And this contains all 50 episodes of the Podcaster Studio as of August 12th, 2011. So what you do is just, in this case, I'm just going to copy the feed address here, the URL. And this is Safari. You can see it says feed. We'll change that to HTTP. Safari handles it a little different. And we're going to go over to a website called websniffer.net. That's web-sniffer.net. And this is going to tell us how large our feed is. So this is something to do ahead of time so you can get an idea of how much stuff is in your feed and if you are in danger of your feed essentially being turned off because it's too large. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and just paste in the URL here from my original feed, not my feed burner feed. I notice with feed burner feeds it tends to show the same number in kilobytes for most feeds so it doesn't seem to be accurate that way. However, if we do type in the original feed, which is created in my case via WordPress, we put it here and we just hit submit. And we give it a second and it will go and pull up our feed and it displays only the first 100 kilobytes. Obviously this tool can be used for a lot of things. You can see here, this is the feed that it's looking at, which is my feed. And if we scroll down here, you can see content is 102.39 kilobytes. So that tells you that I am pretty free and clear from my feed burner feed being too full. I still have another 400 kilobytes left. And so with 50 episodes in my feed already, you know, I can add substantially more episodes to my feed without getting close to that feed limit. So you can see 512 kilobytes is fairly large. Now something that could eat that up might be images. I'm actually not 100% sure that images are included in the size of your feed, but this is a good way to find out. Maybe you have a lot of images in your blog post, in your feed, and you can see how those are impacting your feed size by going ahead and using this tool here. So websniffer.net is a free online tool just so you can get an idea of how large that feed is. Now what if your feed is too large. Maybe you already know this because your feed is not updating and this is you found out was the problem. Or maybe this number is getting very close to being too large and that would end up in you having a feed interruption, essentially. Well, I've actually covered how to fix this, or one way to fix this, over at the Podcaster Studio. And if you go to Tutorials, you'll find this Change the Number of feed items in your WordPress to display all your episodes on iTunes, but this also works for reducing the number of items in your feed. So essentially, the default setting is 10 posts to appear in your feed, and obviously you want to change that if you have a podcast to show more than 10 episodes. As you can see in my example here, that we have 50 episodes in this feed, 
and we still have plenty of room to grow. So 50, setting it to 50 to 100 is probably going to be fine. But if you find out that your setting is at a setting that is too large and your feet is too big, you can just reduce that number and you will then consequently reduce the size of your feed because only maybe 10 items or 20 items will be in your feed, whatever you need to reduce it to, to fit into that 512 kilobytes. And this is a way to fix this problem if you're having that issue with feed burner and your feed being too big. All right, feel free to ask any questions in the uh, comments or get a hold of me, Ray at the podcasterstudio.com and uh, visit the site for many great tutorials mainly about podcasting. So check it out.